Hello, and welcome to Peaky Blinder Season 4, Episode 1. Yeah, a new season, not only a new season, uh, but uh, I've watched half of the show now, which is a milestone. Um, yeah, and the last episode, in the last episode, a lot of stuff happened. A lot of crazy stuff. And uh, I'm very excited to see <laughs> what, uh, yeah, how Tommy handles this situation that now that everyone, not everyone, but uh, a lot of the family members got to prison. And I wonder if another two years passed or if we continue. <laughs> My guess is another two years um, because it was all, uh, it was always two years between seasons mm. but that means either if they gone to prison they're out because the thing is <laughs> after editing the last episode I uh, picked up a few little things which I haven't picked up after I've watched the last episode for example that uh, Tommy made a deal with more powerful people than the enemies and the enemies the biggest enemy are the odd fellows i like to call them that <laughs> because it's very fitting which still is uh, here this uh, main guy is uh, still this jarvis uh, mp guy right so he's still out there the priest is dead so this is the main enemy i guess yeah and more more powerful people because he said uh, the elected government they, uh, they they control this and this, but not the elected government. So does it mean that Churchill is coming back? <laughs> because that's also funny because uh, I thought that um, the train heist was a mission from the government. And Churchill is, uh, is the head of the government. And the Oddfellows had the only interest to blow up the train. To make it uh, to um, destroy the relations with Russia, and now that Tommy prevented that, the odd fellows are angry fellows, <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and I'm very excited uh, to see how Tommy handles all this. So I let the show surprise me, and uh, yeah, let's rock. Interesting to see that the Shelby's, which are normally in power, now have have lost their power. No. What? <laughs> Can't be happening. Arthur, you have to call the king. About what? About this. What the king? This is the case All right. of family Birmingham gangsters on trial for murder and sedition. Of course. And this is my... Mr. Leuven. <laughs> Among the papers he stole was that letter from the king himself, which proves his majesty was involved. Like an episode, the last episode of season two, rescue at the last second. Hmm. All right. <laughs> One year. Later. Just one year this time. All right. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. The king. I haven't thought about him. Yeah. So that means that they are now free. If I understood correctly. Adrian Brody. Adrian Brody. Yes. The pianist. <laughs> Another new character. 
The babies will make everybody okay. Babies stop everything. Can't pull a razor with a baby there, not even Esme. Yeah, right. She has a baby now. Tommy, you've never even seen Arthur's kid. Nor John and Esme's. And Asa also, right. <laughs> How's your mother? Since she was pardoned, she's been on these fucking tablets the doctor gave her when she was in the prison. She says that when she was inside the noose, she saw spirits. Interesting. Hmm. Seems like they are so broken now by all the events. It seems like Polly got it the hardest. Did you see the okay? Yeah, I saw you at the back. It's funny they don't notice. Tommy hmm. said that he he sees spirits, but that it's so bad. Looks like uh, she lost her mind. And what happened to to her boyfriend? How's Arthur? Uh, for Christmas, get him a sewing kit so he can sew his fucking balls back on. But that's a good question. Because Arthur was so uh, was so broken already, <laughs> at times, at least. Arthur, be careful <laughs> with Billy in Long there, hair. cock. Yeah, well. <laughs> and don't smoke that near him. All right. Get out of it. As my call to say, it is on our way over. <laughs> hmm. Seems like uh, life is good for Arthur now. Same letter Holly got. Chancretta. Oh, okay. Oh god. I've got it. <laughs> Maple two four four. And this outfit. <laughs> Now he's a family man. Seems, seems to be happy. Out of all Shelby's. Well, I mean, John, which one was that guy? The old man's oldest son. He was going to get done for killing a bank clerk in a robbery. So his old man sent him back to New York. You know what the black hand means? I'm on the wops, Arthur. It's mafia shit. Oh, interesting. Now the past, past comes back to them. From Luca Changretta, or I'll be killed his dad. I remember. It was Tommy who killed him. It was fucking Arthur pulled the trigger. All right, it was Mercy, but it was Arthur. Yeah, right. I, I remember in the in the interrogation uh, room, but it was indeed uh, Mercy killed. I've got a gun in the glove compartment. You take that for now. I'll talk to Tommy and have him call. Just make sure you get to the phone first. Yeah. Now. Hug me like you came out here because you were emotional. I am emotional. I just don't know what fucking emotion it is. <laughs> Fear. All right, let's look her. I guess. Well, this is Luca. I guess. <laughs> Hey, and that's Adrian Brody. Or oh, is he Luca? <laughs> Take off the hat. Okay, he must be Luca. All right. Nice. And what's the purpose of your visit? Pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs> So he, he takes pleasure in revenge, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> and now it's just, just the mailman, <laughs> uh, something. Oh, Ada. Very paranoid. Do you think I'm on the list? We're all on the list, Ada. I gave my gun to Arthur. 
Then wouldn't help you. <laughs> Holy shit. I saw the Christmas. <laughs> A real protector of his family. <laughs> family meeting, Charlie's Yard, Boxing Day, midday. I can't raise John, but I'll send Michael to get him. If you have to pull a gun on Linda, do it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, John. Hmm. And, and the fact that it's Christmas, and they have to fear for their lives on Christmas, that's, uh, yeah, very sad. He said he was new this year. When did he join us? October. October. <clears throat> and he's fallen. He's Italian, sir. Oh. <laughs> he's Italian. He brought an assistant with him. He calls him his sous chef. Uh uh. Probably the nicest guys in the world. It's all right, don't get up. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's one of one of the guys who came um you knew on Mr. Shelby. In Liverpool. Hello, sir. Into the country, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Of or from New York? I don't know. How are you? <sighs> worried about tomorrow. Yeah, I'm worried about Antonio. <laughs> he seems so nervous, but I think he's innocent. How much do you pay, Antonio? I forget. Must be a lot. Hmm. I just gave him ten pound. Didn't mean a fucking thing to him. <sighs> Maybe it isn't you that pays him. You used to work in a place called San Marcos. I used to know the man that owned San Marcos. A man called Darby Sabini. <laughs> I've never met him. No. Maybe your um assistant. Antonio, maybe he's met him. Here's how it is. Antonio was sent from New York. I don't know, please. Don't be so many facilitated. If I saw to you, I told you to bring him into my house. Threatened to kill you if he didn't do it. He's an assassin. Plan is to kill me tomorrow. They just said bring him here. Well, bring him here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh. Che cazzo succede? Huh? How many came from New York? Hey? How many fucking came from New York? So they came from New York. All right, one less. It's Christmas Day. We're the family now. We're staying at home. Oh. oh what? No way. It's a dream, right? It can't be. It can't be happening. <laughs> what the fuck? No way. I mean, if if this was real, then John is dead. He was hit so many times. What? <laughs> that? Wow. That? Oh wow! <laughs> I don't know what to say. No, they're killing off main characters. That that was. I was thinking about that while watching because they are all so um, dangerous all these uh, Italian guys from the Mafia and I was thinking because 
Tommy said they going for them one by one and they are 12 men so if they make it if they're trying to make it realistic they have to kill some main characters but they actually do I, I, I don't know that uh, I don't know what to say all right okay I have to think about it and um, when I thought about it I'll be back with the review all right that was it that was Season 1 of uh, episode 1 of season 4, which was already a banger episode, I have to say. Probably the, the best first episode of the show so far. <laughs> so, wow. So entertaining and uh, th again, this great writing. Yeah. Let me start from, uh, from the beginning. I mean, um, yeah, only... What saved the family from hanging was only the letter written by uh, King George and he was also involved in this uh, train, in this robbery, but that means that uh, the odd fellows are still out there. Um, I mean, they had, I, th I think they got their hands tied, but they're still out there. And I wonder if they come back at some point. Yeah, so that's uh, that. Then the mafia stuff, which is very intimidating so far. And Luca, the son of Sangreta, the old Sangreta, 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 <laughs> uh, played by Adrian Brody, which I very much respect for his. Uh, for his acting capabilities, especially in The Pianist. He was so great in it. Yeah, and now he <laughs> he plays a mafioso. Very intimidating already. He said he came for pleasure. <laughs> All right. I'm excited to see that. Um, yeah, and uh, that ending, I, 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 I still, I'm still shocked. Because it seems like that that uh, John is dead. Michael uh, may survive. I'm pretty sure he survives. But John, he looks dead. He was hit multiple times. I, th I think uh, three times, maybe four. He could be alive, technically. But I think that he's dead now. Oh man, now that the odd fellows are out of the way, now the Mafia, the Italian Mafia, from New York, uh, the main threat. And to uh, one mentioned Sabini, so maybe we'll see him again. But Shangretta, he had this hitman coming from uh, Sicily, and these are mafiosi from New York. So, which let me let's me guess that maybe <laughs> maybe they have uh, some more men in in Italy. I don't know, just some speculation. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. I don't know what else to say. One thing maybe about the production. In this episode, I noticed uh, the great camera work. I mean, the great writing. I. I've mentioned before, also top, but the camera work, work in this episode were also very great. Yeah, I don't know. That's it. That's it. I have nothing more to say. I want to see the next episode. So, uh, see you then. Bye-bye. Uh, Let's rock. Without the finger.